Hey everyone, in this video we will be dissolving the, the networks, I mean equivalent from delta to star and star to delta. So this is the example, we have a delta network which is encapsulated within a star network followed by a delta network. So basically we start with the smallest one which is the most inside. Now you have this delta network with resistances of 3, 3 and 3. All of the same, uh, same, all have the same ohm resistance. So, firstly we resolve this delta into equivalent star and then by using series transformation we can add it up. Okay? So, we start with this network. Now, to convert it into an equivalent star as I mentioned to you in my previous lecture you have to basically take these two ohms I mean if you want to calculate for this one you, you multiply it and divide it by these three resistance the addition of these three resistances so if you want to calculate this you uh, assume it is R1 R1 which is uh, 3 into 3 3 into 3 divided by the addition of these 3 resistances which is 3 plus 3 plus 3 what do you get? 9 upon 9 is equal to 1 ohm now because these 3 resistances which I have taken are in equal ohms so that means R2 will be 1 ohm similarly R3 will be 1 ohm so then after resolving this the equivalent diagram which you get it is as I'll be drawing this diagram for you again so so this is the diagram a rough diagram which we get We've already found this resistances. Then we converted delta into star. This is already given as 1. We calculated the resistance of these as 1. So this is 1. Similarly, for this, we calculated. We already have 1 over here. And we calculated for these two, which, was, which we found as 1. Similarly, for these two, we again found as 1 when we joined them. And this one we already had. And we have this resistance which is outside given as 5, 5, 5. So when you look at this diagram, you notice that these resistances 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 are in series. So if you again, again uh, make the diagram into 1, you realize that you can add this up by series transformation. So basically 1 and 1 becomes 2 in total 1 plus 1 1 and 1 becomes 2 in total 1 and 1 becomes 2 now we have this equivalent star inside the delta network so now to resolve this again we have to convert the star into delta how do we go about it imagine this resistance as R1 this as R2 R3. Uh, so this is 2, 2, 2. Same diagram. So you start with this. When you have R1 and R2 over here, so this resistance is called as R12. This is called as R. This is R2 and R3. So R23. Then you have R1 and R3. So basically R31. Then for, to find R12, what you write it as R. 1, 2 is equal to. As I mentioned to you how to calculate it, it is given by R12 into, it is given by R1 into R2 plus R2 into R3 plus R3 into R1 divided by the, the, the resistance which is opposite to it, which is divided by R3, divided by R3. So when we calculate R12, 
which is R1 into R2, which is 2 into 2 plus R2 into R3, 2 into 2 plus R3 into R1, 2 into 2 upon R3, which is given by 2. So because I've taken the resistances at the same, you basically get the same answer for R12, R23 and R31, which is 2 into 2 plus 2 into 2. I'll leave you the calculation part. It, it, it is calculated as 6 ohms, 6 ohms, 6 ohms. Now, the equivalent diagram, I'll be drawing the equivalent diagram after we solve this resistance. Now we got this, we convert it into delta and we got it as 6 ohm, 6 ohm, 6 ohm. So basically, now I'll be drawing the equivalent diagram. We get this network. This is the outside part. Now we already had 5 ohms. 5 ohms, 5 ohms. However, when we converted the star into delta, we got it as six ohms over here, six ohms over here, six ohms over here. What we notice is that these this resistance five and six are in parallel. So if uh, we found it in parallel, that is 6 parallel to 5, we calculate it as 6 into 5 up divided by 6 plus 5. It is basically very simple. For series transformation, we just add the addition of these two. For, for, for the parallel transformation, we take multiplication of the two divided by the addition of these two. So we get 6 uh, into 5 upon 6 plus 5 you get it as 30 upon 11 ohms so as the resistances in all the three are say, same we get the equivalent diagram as thirty by 11 30 by 11 30 by 11 ohms okay now now we check if we have any series connection because this is not resolved yet so when you take the addition of these two you, you notice that it is in series connection so that's why the equivalent diagram which you get is 60 by 11 when you add these two 30 by 11 plus 30 by 11 is equal to 60 by 11 ohms and the below part which you have this 30 by 11 30 by 11 ohms then you notice that these two resistances are in parallel so what you do is 60 by 11 into 30 by 11 divided by 60 upon 11 plus 30 by 11 and the answer you get it as 1.81 ohms so this is the equivalent circuit which you have 1.81 ohms so now if you look for this is the equivalent circuit I'm sorry 60 by 11 you got it into 30 by 11 upon 60 upon 11 plus 30 upon 11 which got equivalent to 1.81 ohms so now if you like this video please do not forget to like and subscribe and for any queries please mention it in the comments below Thank you.